Hey, Luda. We're here to see your gym and fridge. Sid, no solicitors. I don't... Oh, <laughs> it's you. I'm sorry. You're here to see my gym and the fridge, right? Come, come on. Thought you were somebody else. Excuse the rage. All right, so you wanna see what's in my fridge. Here we go, don't be surprised of anything, all right? This is the real deal. Randomly, man, lean proteins is the very first thing that I see. You hear about it all the time. Gotta have eggs. I like mine pasteurized. Uh, I got a little bit of turkey in here. I have chicken, organic chicken. And when you get to your vegetables, green vegetables, peas pack a hell of a lot of protein. It's all about fiber. Look at this, baby spinach and baby red butter. And I have arugula in here. I got asparagus. I mean, how much healthier can you get? You hear all the time, it's like 80% your diet. The other 20% is about exercise. So water, I got waters everywhere. You have to drink a lot of water. You gotta hydrate your muscles. It's extremely important. What staples do you always have in your fridge? What staples do I always have in my fridge? I would probably say eggs. Like, as soon as you run out of eggs, you know what, you can't run out of eggs. If you run out of eggs, then your whole household is, is, is insufficient, period. So never run out of eggs, that's always in my fridge. How has your diet changed throughout your career? Uh, chicken and beer was in my fridge 20 years ago. <laughs> and right now it's more like uh, lean turkey and, and water. <laughs> my new album, Lean Turkey and Water, will be coming out soon. What would we never see in your fridge? Anchovies. Oh my God, I hate anchovies. <laughs> Just the thought of anchovies, I hate them. I don't even like them on pizza. Don't even say the word anchovy around me. Do you cook? The only thing I know how to cook, and it's funny you ask me that because there just so happen to be some shells on the kitchen counter. Tacos. That's it. I don't really know how to cook anything else. Luda can't cook. Luda can't cook, noted. What's your guilty pleasure when you're on a movie set? When I'm on set, my guilty pleasure is probably peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You know, it's very rare that you could literally eat something every single day and never get tired of it. Peanut butter is that thing for me. I cannot stay away from it. What's the weirdest thing you put in your protein shake? Probably a raw egg inside the protein shake, which is weird because people will say, ugh, sometimes, but Arnold Schwarzenegger's been doing it for decades and how the hell do you get salmonella from uncooked chicken, but you don't get salmonella from uncooked eggs? What do you usually grab from the fridge if you're hungry at 2 a.m.? If I'm hungry at 2 a.m., I don't eat because that's the most important time where you shouldn't be eating and you should let your body fast. So don't do that shit. I just don't. What's the hardest diet you've ever tried? The toughest diet I've ever tried is the keto diet by far. F that diet. I don't like anybody who is still on it. So if you fart, you'll break yourself out of ketosis. It's ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous diet I've ever heard of. Have you ever been vegan? I've tried vegan out for about, I'd say two hours or so. It didn't work out for me. It didn't really work. What do you eat on a cheat day? Oh no. That's where it gets a little ludicrous, pun intended, man. Any, like everything pasta, everything bread, everything burger, chocolate chip, uh, potato chips, fucking french fries. Everything. I want it all on a cheat day. That's how disciplined I am, because when I on a cheat day, it's over. All right, it's that time of day. Let's head down to my personal gym. I'm gonna start my workout. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a couple things. Hopefully you learned something. All right, let's check out that home gym. How often do you work out? Mostly six days a week, sometimes seven days a week. And if I'm extremely busy, at least five days a week. Have your workouts gotten more challenging? Oh man, my workouts have gotten more strenuous. You know, the longer I've been doing it, the more I have to challenge myself. You gotta confuse the body. The body and the mind are way smarter than you give it credit for. What does a week of training look like? Yeah, a week of training for me, switching things up. Just constantly doing different things. Obviously, every single day is a different body part, but every day is core and every day is a little bit of legs as well. Leg is your biggest muscle. Trying to get my arms like they were in my get back video. It's taken me a lifetime, but I'm gonna get there. What keeps you motivated? What keeps me motivated? Trying to be better than I was yesterday. Always trying to improve. What other training do you do? What other kind of training? I think it's great that you can't just all do weightlifting. You have to do hit exercises. You have to do yoga sometimes. You gotta make sure you stretch. 
Man, listen, if the moral of today isn't switching things up, it's important that you do different exercises. Some days can be weight training. Some days can just be active recovery, walking. If you have a pool, you jump in the pool. You know, you just have to constantly try different things. Which one's your favorite? Walking. I hate doing all this Whatever the easiest thing is, is gonna be my favorite. But I have to challenge myself, and so do you, goddammit. What do you consider to be an intense workout? Intense workouts, hit workouts. High intensity interval training. Favorite exercise of all time? Favorite exercise of all time is what I'm doing right now. I love dips. One exercise you hate? Hit the gym all chest, no legs. How does working out help you on stage? Oh my gosh, working out, it helps me on stage because I have a lot more breath control. So of course, when you get your cardio up, you get your weights up, you get your confidence up, I can do the, ain't nobody fucking with me when it comes to getting lyrical murder and a rapper and killing beats. I can do that all with great breath control. What are your fitness goals? No, listen, I don't know if it's my family or what. I am genetically predisposed. I have the skinniest calves in the world. No matter how many calf exercises I do, they don't get bigger. I'm tired of this Look at this, bulls. Look at this. Do you see this? Now, don't get it twisted. They're toned, but they won't get bigger. I have to figure something out. I refuse to get calf implants. It's not happening, but I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> Did you ever have a moment where fitness changed from being a chore to something you look forward to? Absolutely. When you get in your late 20s and you happen to look down and it's a gut right there below you, that's when you start looking forward to exercise because you're like, I gotta get rid of this shit. So is exercise something you enjoy? <laughs> Exercise is not something I actually enjoy every day, but I enjoy the benefits from it. I enjoy how I feel in the long run. It's all about the bigger picture. So even though some days I don't wake up wanting to exercise, you gotta push through it. It's all mental. How do you keep your mind fit? You keep your body fit and your mind will follow. Do you have any scars? Uh, yes, I do have scars. I have battle scars. They're, they're all over. I got a scar right here, a scar on my leg. Uh, you know, I was a playful kid, man, and I used to just climb tree houses and do stupid stuff all the time. So it's all a part of the story. Do you have tattoos? I used to want to get a lot of tattoos, and then I started, humbly speaking, shooting movies. And uh, sometimes they have to cover your tattoos, so you got to sit in a makeup trailer for hours while they cover your tattoos. So I stopped getting them at only three. My most meaningful, probably this disturbing the piece, this company I built from the ground up right here. It's a great thing. All right, Luda, it's time for rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? Ah, 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Ah, I love deadlifts. Favorite song in your playlist? Busta Rhymes and Kendrick Lamar, look over your shoulder. CrossFit, yay or nay? Fuck CrossFit, I hate that shit, man. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Ah, dumbbells. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Great outdoors, baby. Cardio or weights? Weights. Big legs or big arms? Big arms, all day. Biggest compliment? Jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? I like to be called ripped. If you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, guys, thank you. I gotta get on with my day. I appreciate you stopping by my gym, but uh, y'all gotta get the out.